Hey guys, it is Broken Beanie TV here, and today we've got a cancerous video from MTV News. They have no idea what they're talking about, and they just bash white people basically in this video. So I'm going to be debunking every single claim they make because every single one is ridiculous. Hey, fellow white guys, it's about to be a new year, and there's a few things we think you could do a little bit better in 2017. And right off the bat, you can see the tone of this video. They have the little music in the background, the colorful group of people. The tone of it just shows how casually they're speaking. They have no guilt in what they're saying, they're just being full out racist. First off, try to recognize that America was never great for anyone who wasn't a white guy. No, 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 and no. America has been great for people of color. Look at the celebrities, they are rich billionaires, they have houses on islands. Don't say that America hasn't been great for anyone who's a person of colour. You're first of all generalising generalizing people who are coloured, saying that they're poor and have nothing great for them, and you're also generalising people who are white who have everything great for them. Shut the hell up, okay? You have no idea what you're talking about. You're just a smug little idiot who thinks they know what they're talking about, but you really do not. How the hell can they have a black president and not have any sort of good advantages in the country? You just have no idea what you're talking about. Colored people do have good things. Can we all just agree that Black Lives Matter isn't the opposite of All Lives Matter? Eh, more like a softcore black KKK. Now, Black Lives Matter isn't really the KKK, but it's kind of like a soft version. They're pretty extreme and they're not really good either. I can admit they're definitely not the opposite of All Lives Matter because All Lives Matter isn't a crappy movement. Black lives just matter. There's no need to overcomplicate it. Also, Blue Lives Matter isn't a thing. Cops weren't born with blue skin. Um, they were talking about their uniform. They're not talking about their goddamn skin colour. Because you do know, Black Lives Matter has contributed to police officers getting killed. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, they weren't born blue. Stop bragging about being woke. Stop saying woke. No one from the right side says woke. It's the Black Lives Matter people. They say, we know what's going on in the world. I'm hashtag woke. You have no idea what you're talking about, and I've said no idea what you're talking about about five times. Seriously. Ridiculous. Mansplaining is, and then stop doing it. Mansplaining is literally a joke from Tumblr. I mean, seriously, that is a sexist term used by misandric women. I mean, you're seriously going to say white guys need to stop mansplaining. They can speak if they want to, that's how conversations work. Stop being salty because you lost the election, so you want to attack white people. I'm pretty sure that's the reason, guys. I'm pretty sure. Oh, and if you're a judge, don't prioritize the well-being of an Ivy League athlete over the woman he assaulted. Great, so you're using one, one event that happened and using it to generalize, hmm, how about this? 13% of the population. Great, just great. And you, need, you know, if you're just going to be generalizing white people of one case, then when the white conservative extremists say that black people can't do certain things, do not complain. Oh, I love Beyonce. And yeah, she's black, so of course she cares about black issues. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Fox News. Feel free to take Kanye West, though. You guys can have him. You know what you did, Kanye. Nobody who has black friends says that they have black friends. And just because you have black friends doesn't mean you're not racist. You can be racist with black friends. This is an interesting point because, on the other hand, you could be racist and just have black friends to use use that term, but you could also not be racist because if you have black friends, you wouldn't just backstab them and just be racist to them because that wouldn't make sense because if you're going to be racist, you can't really have black friends. It's like being homophobic and having gay friends, it doesn't really match. I don't even need to have a full-fledged argument about this because everybody who watched this video disliked it. Just look at the dislike ratio. Okay, this video was absolutely terrible. MTV News stands for music television, not race baiting television. So just get the hell out of this narrative of white people are evil and get back into music news. What the hell is wrong with this channel? They see that they're getting views off this and they must be trying to produce it. Get the hell off the website of YouTube and stay on your own website where you can post your racist shit. Now, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and dislike MTV's video. Bye.